interrupted by a delivery delay. And this afternoon, we are staying on top of postal problems stemming from the Palmetto USPS Distribution Center. 11 Alive's Ariana Manis explains how these delays have cost loved ones the closure needed to heal. Katie Gartner remembers her youngest brother Connor as a Braves fan who loved the outdoors. The one that was bouncing around the room, talking to everybody, making sure everyone felt included. Memories and photos is all she has now after he died in a car crash. Everyone survived in the other car, but the, my brother's girlfriend and himself did not. His remains were shipped through USPS. Gardner expected them to arrive by February 26 at the latest before the family celebrated his life on March 3rd. We didn't get to see him again. And so our only thing that we had on to was getting him back. She says she checked the mailbox every day for her brother and last tracked the remains at the Postal Service's Palmetto Distribution Center, where she says he stayed for at least three days. His remains did not arrive until the 4th. When I received him in the box, it was so jostled that even some of his remains out of, spilled out of a sealed bag. Their family's experience follows the long list of reported delays and missteps from this facility. But this is not an Amazon package. This is not a pair of shoes. It's, it's literally a person's remains. Like, we're already dealing with a traumatic situation, and you're just making it worse. A 2023 audit by the Inspector General revealed the Postal Service did not always comply with proper procedures to handle cremated remains. And another audit revealed failure in relocating equipment to the Palmetto facility and confusion around staff roles and responsibilities, which contributed to the delays. You're looking forward to starting the healing process, and you can't. And while it took longer than expected, Gartner's brother is finally home, and the family can start healing and processing Connor's death. 11 Alive is taking your questions directly to USPS. We have asked many times for an interview and to go inside the Palmetto facility. So far, the Postal Service has turned down every request. To read what may have been causing these problems, you can text the word mail to 404-885-7600. You will get a link to all of our postal stories, along with advice for dealing with some of the most common delivery issues.